Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. First off, I'd like to thank Will P. for the recommendation on this book. I did a book haul recently and flashed this up on the screen. And he said it was a beautiful book, perfect one for the summer. And he was spot on. I had just read Red Mars, which is a pretty dense science, hard science fiction book. This was perfect in between uh, that book and going into the sequel, Green Mars, and it was just spot on recommendation. So thanks, Will. And if any other viewers have any recommendations in the future, uh, you know, feel, feel, feel free to throw them out in the comments and we'll see what we can do. All right, so this is episode six of a series I'm doing called The Masterpieces of Science Fiction. Uh, that's a list that Easton Press put together, and I'm going to read through 140 books. Now, the elephant in the room is, is this science fiction? I don't really want to talk about that too long. It's, in my opinion, not really science fiction, but I'm glad the book was on the list, and it got me to read this book. I've read a couple books from Ray Bradbury in the past, and a ton of his short stories, which he's mostly known for. But I had never read this, and I'm really glad the list forced me to. Now, there is this one little passage. It'll give you a sense of Ray Bradbury's prose and a very slight science fiction element that I found in here. And I guess a little background. The story is a coming-of-age story for a, a boy. I think he's 13 or somewhere around there, and he has a little brother. The main character's name is... Douglas, his little brother's name is Tom, and it's a coming-of-age story of them based in a small rural Illinois town. And I'll just read this short little paragraph. Grandfather walked Douglas and Tom home. Halfway there, Charlie Woodman and John Huff and some other boys rushed by like a swarm of meteors. Their gravity so huge they pulled Douglas away from Grandfather and Tom and swept him off towards the ravine. So, like I said, this is a coming of age. It mostly revolves around this boy Douglas and his brother and his friends, but it also includes his parents, his grandparents, other members of the community, and some events that happened during a summer um, back in the 20s when he was growing up. The main themes, while this book isn't really strong on plot, it is filled with metaphor and themes about life and death, darkness and light, yin and yang, whatever you want to call it. And the title itself is kind of a way their family would bottle up bits of summer by making dandelion wine in the spring. And then they could visit summer in the middle of winter by opening up their little ketchup bottles of wine and, and tasting summer. But the story is, like I said, it's just full of beautiful metaphor. And it's really these, these young kids kind of understanding what it's like to be alive. And with that, what it's like to maybe be mortal and to face the possibility of death in the future. It's really interesting the way he writes these kids and how some of them struggle with this concept and some take to it a little bit easier. Just like in life, I'm sure, some people struggle with this more than others. But the, the real strengths of this book is, is just Bradbury's writing and I've, I've read, like I said, I've read a few of his books in the past, and he just has a way of saying things, writing things down that maybe, like, I thought I was the only one in the world that thought these thoughts. And as you get older, you realize we're all a little bit more alike than we think we are. And reading books like this will, I think, help you understand that we all are going going through the same struggles and everybody just tackles these 
these things a little bit differently. And that we can all, all be there to help each other out when need be. So that's about all I'm going to get into with this book as far as the plot and that goes. The pros and cons for this book, there's a ton of pros. Just the, the writing is just so easy. Bradbury has this almost poetic prose that's just that just rolls over you and it just reads so easy. I don't know if it was because I read a dense hard science fiction book and then went to this, but it was just a joy every time I picked up the book and I loved every minute of it. It, it almost is little short stories, but, and I know Bradbury is kind of famous for doing those fix-up novels, but I think he actually, from what I um, research. He did write this as a novel. I think some parts of this book have been pulled out as separate little short stories after he wrote it, and but I could be slightly wrong on that. Um, but I, I think if you want to, well, first off, let's go with a couple cons, um, or just one con in general is like I said, this book might be a little light on plot, but it makes up for it in any other ways. I, I think I'd probably give this a four. I, I don't know that this is quite a five for me. It's a, probably about as close as I could get. Now, who should read this? I think if you're a fan of science fiction, you should read this. If you're just a fan of reading in general, you should read this. If you read this a long time ago, you should reread it. And if you've never read a book and you happen to be watching this channel, read this book. It's just easy to read. It, it's beautiful and it just brings up these really deep um, thoughts and themes, but does it in this just unique way that I think only Bradbury can do. Another thing, like I said, the, the book does kind of read like short stories. I think if you want to read this on the side and pick it up occasionally and read a few chapters, put it down, you know, read something else, come back to it. There's not a lot of plot. You won't feel lost. And I think that's another way you could read this in little bite-sized bits. So anyways, that's about it for the video. Uh, right now I am just starting Green Mars. I'm just a little ways in. I'm on page 50. I'm loving it. This break was perfect because now I'm just ready to jump right back into this universe and back on Mars. So look for another video soon on that one and we'll see you in the next video.